With Word 2010, you may not need to use other photo editing software. You can add picture effects like controlling the temperature and setting the color saturation right in Word. Word also includes a palette of artistic effects that you can apply directly to your photographs and other graphics. We're going to start with this small document that includes two photographs that we've used earlier in this chapter. And I'm going to select the photograph that includes olives hanging from a branch. On the Picture Tools Format tab, we're going to take a look at the different commands that are available in the Adjust group. First, we have a command that will allow us to change the color of this particular image. Now, the color saturation that we see here is the current saturation. If we wanted to tone this image down, we can choose a lower saturation. And note that as I make these choices, in the gallery, they're being reflected in the preview of the image. So here's my image as it stands now, and here's way oversaturated. Color tone, the same. I can drop the color tone, or I can increase the color tone. This is also known as coolness and warmth. I can recolor my image. For example, I could take this image and make it orange or blue or red. All of these colors are provided by the theme. So if I were going to do this, I might take every single image in a particular document and color them all in one particular color to go with the theme. For example, here's our olive green. And if I did that and then chose this image, even though it was on another page, and did the same green, you notice that I'm creating a look for this document that says, here's a document that will have spot color on the photographs only. I'm going to undo those two changes to the two photographs. And we're going to take a look at the artistic effects that are available. This is an entire palette of options that retouch the photograph by applying some pretty radical effects. None of these are really simple. For example, if we point here, we'll have one called photocopy. This is what would happen if we took the photograph and we ran it through a really bad photocopy process. But there are others. For example, this is what our photo would look like had it been rendered as a pencil sketch. So again, thinking of not one single graphic in a document, but applying an effect to all of the graphics in a document, you can see that if we applied pencil effect to both of these, that we start to get an old time feel in this document. Let's undo those two changes. And let's choose another artistic effect. And this artistic effect is called plastic wrap. Again, a really strange but interesting, nonetheless, image as if plastic wrap has been applied to our photo. I'm going to undo those two changes so that we have our original photos back again. Whatever I do to make changes to my photo, whether I'm using color or artistic effects, or I've simply corrected my photo, I might want at some point to go back to the original photo that I had, and that's the choice here, which is to say I want to reset the picture. Any formatting changes I've made, I'd like to wipe out. I can even reset the picture to its original size. You'll recall that we cropped this photo earlier, and yet I can restore that original photo prior to the cropping. I'm going to undo that last change so we have the photo as cropped and as sized. Finally, if I have a document that I'm going to email to lots of people and it has a number of images in it, it's wise for me to compress all of the pictures. I do that by selecting one image and choose Compress Pictures, and the dialog box asks me what I want to do. First, I can say only compress this picture, but often I'll want to compress every single image in a document. So I'm going to do compression to the, my entire document at one time, every single photo. If I choose delete cropped area of the picture, I will no longer be able to get those cropped areas back. But it does this because there's no point in emailing those pixels around if I don't need them. So I'm going to delete the cropped areas of the picture. I'm going to rely on the resolution of the document itself, how it will be printed, to determine what kind of compression that I want to use and I'm going to say OK, and all of my images will be compressed, so they'll be much smaller, and my document will be much smaller. With Word 2010's Picture Enhancement Tools, you can take a simple document with photographs or graphics that came from a wide range of sources, and you can use them to tightly theme your document 
and make it visually engaging so that you create a document that your readers will enjoy reading.